Good evening. This is the new Corvette. Hi, I'm Nelson Harrison with Aguirre Media. We're at the 2013 Detroit Auto Show behind me, the 2014 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray, the all-new, seventh-generation American icon. It's new, it's improved, it's almost completely different to the C6, even though there's a pretty similar outline. 450 horsepower, 450 pound-feet of torque, and an LT1 6.2-liter V8 under the hood. A new aluminum and steel chassis. This thing is just, well, high-tech, which is an odd thing when you consider the retro Stingray name, but so far, we like what we see and we're really looking forward to driving it. Behind me, you see the frame and internal structure of the C7 Corvette, the Stingray. Unlike the base C6 Corvette, the base C7 gets a, an aluminum and steel frame. The C6 was all steel. You might not notice it because the dimensions are pretty close, but it's one inch longer wheelbase, about an inch wider in track and overall width. But because of the aluminum steel chassis, the composite use in the, the body, and the carbon fiber roof and hood, the new Corvette is about 37 pounds lighter than the last one. That's not a lot, and to be honest, Chevy probably could have gotten more out of it. But to keep the price point and the price to performance ratio right, we think this was a good move. Some of the technological upgrades may or may not actually seem like upgrades. For one, there's new electric power steering. And for two, with the Z51 performance package, you get a, an electronic limited slip differential. Now, good, bad, we don't know. We'll have to get behind the wheel to see, just as we'll have to get behind the wheel to evaluate the new interior. It looks much improved, it feels much improved, but does this new interior really stand up to day-to-day -day use? We'll have to see, again, when we get to drive it. And we hope to bring that to you very, very soon. For Hagger Media, I'm Nelson Ierson.